Hey, what's going on guys? I uh, want to talk a bit about it in terms of using how to use finviz.com. Uh, one of the popular sites on there to visualize and scan for stocks. Uh, by the way guys, if you do like the video, please do like and subscribe. Uh, it's going to keep you motivated to make more videos for you, which you can use to uh, build up your wealth, right? Uh, so when you take a look at finviz.com, uh, what you want to find is in terms of growth names, right? So if you want to find growth names, uh, first of all, you, you don't want to go on screener and you do industry stocks only, right? I mean, you want to, or you only want to go and find stocks because I mean, if you don't do that, then I mean, you might see a whole bunch of ETFs and so on, right? Uh, so you can do industry stocks only. Uh, what if you want to do uh, based on which sector you would like to? Uh, you can do that as well um, but for now we just do industry stocks only uh, what you also want to do is have uh, stocks which have some decent volume right you don't want to have stocks which is doing like 50,000 50,000 so you mean a decent volume is over hundred thousand dollar over hundred thousand shares right so that's the number of shares being traded so what you will notice is um, immediately on here right so right now with Finviz you're looking at close to about uh, 7,000 stocks, once you, uh, stocks and ETFs. Once you do industry stocks only, you're left with 5,074. Uh, next, you want to narrow down in terms of the volume, as I mentioned, about 3,560 down. Now, that's still a lot of stocks in there, right? Now, basic fundamental criteria that you want to use um, for, for trying to find any momentum, right? You want to find something which has uh, earnings right so quarter over quarter if it can make more than 30 percent growth uh, that's a pretty strong indicator that you know what the company has got strong earnings um, also sales right uh, at times you know what if you try to find something uh, which a company is really growing it might not have earnings right so if you take this off it's still okay right um, you'll still find about 673 stocks uh, but you know what, if you want to find an established company, right, a company which has established its sales, so it means it's selling a whole bunch of stuff quarter over quarter, so 30%. So if this quarter is sold 100, next quarter is sold 130, and the following quarter is sold 160, and so on, right? So that's, so it's over 30%. I mean, more the better. I mean, if this quarter it made 100, and next quarter it does 200, I mean, 100% growth is, is really good, right? Uh, next, we want to take a look at it in terms of EPS growth quarter over quarter, right? So what you can do is you can do over 30% as well. Now, the difference between sales and earnings is uh, sales, when you talk about income statement, uh, the income statement is sales is something that you cannot really manipulate, right? Um, in terms of earnings, sales minus, let's say, the inventory cost, minus uh, the interest, the taxes. Uh, so those are kind of manip manipulation which they can really do, right? But... Uh, just for the screening purposes, if you have something which is growing over 30%, it will show you only 309 stocks. The other criteria that I like to see on here uh, is in terms of uh, the range, right? This, the stock should have some kind of range for me to actually uh, trade, right? So you don't really need um, a whole bunch of stocks. You can have 100 shares, and if it moves a dollar, right, you can move, make 100 bucks, right? Um, so that's I like to have stocks which has range over 0 0.5. Now what you'll see on here, uh, if you do on charts, you click on candle. Now you see all these charts over here, right? I mean now in terms of if you're trying to find growth stocks, right? Uh, what you really find, want to find is strong growth stocks. I mean you might want to find turnaround stories, but I usually want to find uh, stocks which are strong, right? So stocks which are strong, couple of technical indicators you can take a look at is uh, something which has price over the 200 day moving average right uh, also price over the 50 day moving average right which means the stocks are really really strong uh, the way you look at it is across the board you'll see these stocks are pretty strong on here right now it narrows down to 42 stocks right so in terms of uh, finding growth opportunities you don't really have to do a whole bunch of stuff as long as you're able to classify it based on uh, say the stocks only volume uh, do it based on EPS sales uh, and these ones right these two parameters you will see find a really good stock I mean if you want to 
uh, open up your horizon a bit, right? You do any, uh, I mean, even with stocks, which is over 30% sales, right? You definitely want to see a high sales number. I mean, the company has to be generating some kind of, they need to be able to sell some stuff, right? For you to actually, uh, for people to actually start buying into it. Even with those numbers, right? You see on here, you have 104, a uh, couple of good ones that you will see on here. Uh, I mean, after the big pullback, right? You see it's trying to trend back up. Crone is one of the names. Uh, Netflix, I mean, it did, got decimated to 50 and added a nice bounce. KDP. Um, so you can quickly br browse through this using candlestick charts and see, hey, you know what? Um, is there an opportunity for you to get in the name, right? Uh, now, if you look at now, this stock hasn't really, I mean, since we know in October, the most of the market had got decimated, this one didn't really move anywhere, right? I mean, it's still moving between 160 and a 200, so in this $40 range. So it's a fairly, fairly strong stock, right? Uh, same thing if you look on this Shopify, uh, but between 120 and 160, uh, it's, it's trading in this range. So I mean, this stock is really holding up really well, right? Uh, the more stronger stock on here we want to see is AYX, right? I mean, in terms of the way it's being handled, the uh, the market decline, and I mean, when the markets were actually going sideways and so on, I mean, this one was holding up really well. So AYX would be one of the names that you might want to take a look at for the future. Uh, really strong name. Uh, another name that you can take a look at is actually Twilio, right? It's, it's consolidated between 70 and this 100, this $30 range, uh, and some kind of consolidation breaking out would be really great. Right, so keep in mind you're looking on the weekly chart. It's going to give us a bigger weekly picture to take a look at what's going on, right? Uh, VCYT is another good one that you can see over here, right? Uh, if you go on to some other, this Planet Fitness, right? It's been doing really well as well. Team is one of the, one of the names, right? So you see a lot of growth names on here uh, that you can actually quickly scan through and see, you know what, which ones make sense, which one doesn't. Uh, Workday is another one of the good names on here, right? I mean, it had this decline, now it's consolidating and probably get another move up. Uh, DXCM, right? Uh, Cyber is another good one, right? I mean, it really went sideways, right? And now, I mean, if it starts breaking up through 80, we'll see some good push on the upside. You have this save, Spirit Airlines, same story on here, right? A really strong name. I mean, in October, when there was a market decline till now, this one didn't really go down. I mean, if you, this one is actually really, really strong. So this one, if you take a look on uh, the name on here, right on the weekly chart, I mean, it's breaking out over pretty recent highs. Look on the monthly one, I mean, it's pretty strong over here as well, right? It's a pretty good name to take a look at. Um, saves a really strong name that I like. Uh, let's see if there's anything else. Uh, yeah, so that's about it. I mean in terms of the growth things that you see out here, right? Uh, TLL. So what you really want to take a look at is yes, you have momentum name but You also want to take a look at in terms of the market strength uh, a relative strength. Let me say So the way you want to take a look at relative strength is hey, you know what? Uh, you take a look at this chart on here, right? Let's say you pull up an NASDAQ, S&P or the NASDAQ the two of the more common ones on here Let me pull both of them up over here So we know Right? I mean, you don't really need to be a genius to know about all this stuff. Uh, what do we know? We know is from sometime in October uh, till now, right? Sometime in October uh, till early January, uh, this had what, 2,900 to 23, so close to about um, 600 point decline on here, right? So on say, give or take about 3,600, so it's a good decent decline out here, right? But if you look on the stocks, Right, even on the NASDAQ, if you take a look over here, pretty decent size decline, right? 7,600 down to 6,000, close to about, what, 1,600 down, right? It has been just moving these waves. If you have a stock which is actually holding up, right, like the, um, let me just go ahead and try to pull this up. Something like AYX, Twilio, Planet Fitness Team. Close this thing. I don't know how do we close this? 
So this ad is popping out over here, right? Uh, so you look at something like this, like AYX, right? I mean, uh, since October, you did see a decline on here, but it was only a partial decline, and now it's actually started trending up, right? So this is a really good uh, strength name. Uh, same thing with Twilio. Uh, November had a decline, but now it's holding up really well. So another strong name. Um, sorry about that. It's just the advertisement playing over there. Uh, the other one you want to take a look at is in terms of Planet Fitness. Same story. I mean, there was a decline over here since October uh, and holding up really well, right? Same thing with Team and the name on here, right? Had a decline, but now holding up really well. So that's signs of in terms of relative strength, right? So you have a growth name. You see relative strength. Uh, those are the names that you want to get involved with going forward um, if you want to really make some dough out here, right? Uh, so guys, if you have any questions in terms of finding momentum names using Finviz, uh, let me know. Um, and hey, you know what? If you like the video, please do like and subscribe. Uh, I'm going to make more for you guys to make more money.